Now, a new study reveals a quarter of us uh, put off going to see the doctor about having heart palpitations. It also shows nearly a third of people have experienced an irregular heartbeat. We're joined now by double Olympic gold medal winner and a rower, Tom James. <laughs> That's what you run it for, Tom, isn't it? He was diagnosed yep. with an irregular heartbeat ahead of London 2012. And also Professor Richard Schilling, who is a cardiologist. Just tell us uh, about your experience of this, Tom. Sure. Well, I, um, uh, I was just uh, back from a training camp, I think, just before the Olympics, seven months before, before London Olympics. And uh, just woke up one morning feeling absolutely terrible. Went down to training, couldn't really do anything. Um, and I think during that period, I, thought, I just thought I had a virus, a bug that had been going around the team. Uh, it wasn't until later on I got diagnosed with a, a heart problem. So there didn't seem to be any real symptoms. Um, Did, could you feel, you imagined to feel well, your heart racing or anything? What was the yeah, sensation? Yeah, in hindsight, looking back, basically, I, I'd get out of breath very quickly. So walking up the stairs or going down to the shops, there's something really mundane. But it meant any time I tried to do any, any exercise, I'd, would it be 30 seconds sitting on a rowing machine? I'd get a heart rate of about 250. And then the run-up so to, to the Olympics. Exactly, I mean, this yeah. must have been hugely worrying for you. Yeah, and I think um, the fact that it's a, it got diagnosed as a heart problem as well, it's not something, it's not a typical injury. It's not something you can, I think as an oarsman, you, you, you get injuries quite often. Mm. And it's something you, you learn to deal with. But with this, it's very, something very personal. It's something which affects you for the, could affect you for the rest of your life. So it sort of goes beyond that normal sort of day-to-day -day injury, I guess. And Professor, it, it is relatively common. I've experienced heart palpitations myself and been treated for them as it happens. Mm. Uh, but people don't take them seriously enough. Is that right? Well, it's very common for people to ignore these very subtle symptoms because they just assume it's them getting older or less fit. And there's an easy way of identifying whether you've got a problem by simply taking your pulse. And if you notice your pulse is irregular for more than a few seconds, then that's not normal. When so you say irregular, so what, were you, what are you feeling for? So you're feeling for a complete irregularity of the pulse. So normally your pulse should go along very regularly with the occasional skip. And if it's completely random, then mm. that's not normal. So that's something that requires further attention. And it can lead to strokes and all sorts of things, can't it? Well, it's the, c the condition that Tom had, which is atrial fibrillation, is the commonest cardiac cause of stroke. So it's important to get treatment early. And it's also important to try and get yourself educated. So there's an online guide from mm. Bupa, for example, that will help to patients to understand the condition and get more out of the consultation when they do see a doctor. Which is what you've done, Tom. Glad to see you managing it and still yeah. back to winning ways. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, I've, yeah, I mean, London was, was phenomenal. Mm. And, um, got the medals here, actually. Got the medals, Quick brought them in, most people want to see them. Um, yeah, and it, it, it's just something that was absolutely amazing for all of us. And you can't almost believe it, it actually happened. It's just a sort of distant memory mm, now. It's almost sure. a year since it, since it occurred. But, Look um, forward to seeing you doing it again in Rio. We'll see, we'll see. I'll be there on holiday this time rather than uh, in the boat. Oh, all right, fair enough. <laughs> Give your heart a rest. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank you very much.